Why, hello everybody, welcome, my name is Ruby Dung, welcome to today's episode. Uh, today, a very special update just, uh, came out, another new one. Um, and they added a, uh, a bunch of new items as well. Uh, so I do want to kind of show you guys what some of the stuff they just, uh, did was. Oh, ooh, almost walked up. Uh, the first thing you should notice, that should be very obvious, the game looks very different now. It looks like they, uh... They said they added a new, um, lighting system, so, uh, everything now looks a lot more, um, uh, refined, uh, when looking through all the lights. Um, next up, one of the items they added was, uh, if you take three wool, and you take three wood, uh, you get a bed. Um, with this item, apparently you can set it down, so let's, uh, go here. Um, and then you click on it, you lay in the bed, and once that's over, boom, the time of day changed. So with this, I actually can control the time of day. Um, also, if I didn't break it there, apparently I can move my spawn point around using it. Um, so with this new item, I'm capable of controlling the time of day and also where I spawn, so I no longer I can have the choice to not spawn down on that little island over there anymore. Instead, spawn all the way up here, so I never have to touch the ground ever again, if I choose so. Um, one of the other items they also added. I think I need to grab some stone. Let me uh go over here. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, I need three pieces of that. Uh, might as well just click a full eight. Um, just for, uh, in case I need more of it, I need some redstone, in which case I need three pieces. Uh, then I need wood. Do I have spare sticks around? Because I think I need sticks. I think sticks are somewhere around here. Uh, no, I need to make sticks. Uh, so I don't have that on me, so do that. And here we go. Um, grab the coal, just need one of those. Uh, throw that in there, here, there. Um, then I need to make uh, two of these um, and wait for that to cook up. Uh, but what else did they add? Oh, I also, they added um, another item. So let me grab three of these. I uh, also want to grab three of the uh, uh, cobble. Um, so let me go over here. Uh, the three of these, um, and I come all the way around here. So if you notice um, how uh, you made stone slabs, you just put in three of these. This is different, but the texture isn't different. These just make a new thing. So we now have this. Um, so we now have this texture as um, just a half block. And also, if I come over here, we can do this. So we now have this texture as half a block. And apparently, um, when they're like this state, they do not spawn mobs. So, uh, I can, uh, do this in order to, uh, help with stuff. And I also can lie a whole bunch of these up on top of the farm. But, uh, also, I'm gonna check for something. I probably need to make a new pick. Uh, nope, I got picks. Um, so, yeah, that requires a pick, but apparently this does not require an axe. Um, from what someone told me, that I, you have to, yeah, you have to use a pick on it, apparently. Uh, I'm not sure why that is. Let's see uh, if the stone over here is done smelting. It is. Okay. Uh, so, if I come over here, I put three of that in. It gives me the new stone. So, the stone that I've been using for all my platforms, I now have to turn uh, the... Uh, cobble into uh, this. Apparently they didn't change the name on it. That's interesting. Uh, but also, if you uh, do this, you get a redstone repeater. So, uh, let me grab my redstone so I can show you what this does. Um, grab that and grab that. So, um, if I come over here, turn, hit that, if I put this down, you'll see it's lit. So if I then travel a certain amount of uh, blocks, um, you'll see it emits these particles here. 
eventually if I travel far enough, it won't emit the particles anymore. Um, if it emits the particles, then uh, let me find something that I can show this with. I'm not sure what I can show it with. Oh, wait, I think uh, doors work. Let me make a door. Uh, ba, ba, ba. Okay, so if I put uh, this here, then I come all the way over here. Uh, then if I hit this lever, the door opens. Hit it again, it closes. Uh, however, if I move the door, like, oh, like this, put it here, and then put this here, come all the way back over here, nothing happens. That's because uh, this line is too short. You need the particle effects on here uh, for the door to uh, open. So if I break this again, I lay out this, uh, not here, but here, here, then uh, lay out like this, and then put the door down here again. You'll notice it's significantly further uh, than it was, So, but if I hit the lever, it still opens. So with this new item, we can now increase the length that redstone goes, um, instead of having to build uh, the larger repeater systems. Uh, we now have that condensed down into its own item, so we now have uh, that. Anyways, guys, I um, now began setting up some of the uh, walling for the uh, wheat and mushroom farm, along with the walling all the way out to the mines. I haven't bothered uh, setting up where the stilts for them will go quite yet. I also need to uh, actually turn those cobble there into like logs and build them all the way up, but I will get to that. I want to begin focusing on these farms right here. Oh, it's almost uh, night. Uh, however, that's not a problem anymore with one of the new things that's in the game. Oh man, this thing is broken, let me tell you. It's probably going to get nerfed in uh, one of the updates soon, but oh man, we will abuse it while it's, while it's this broken, let me tell you. Um, but either way, I'm thinking over here I'm going to put a mushroom farm. Uh, so right here I plan on putting a access staircase way up and then like collection points right there. Uh, let me just sleep real quick. Alright, so yeah, stairway all the way up here, collection points right here, so stairs that will go up, uh, in which case I can put a, a water, ac uh, like a water uh, let down place so I can walk up with a bucket, put a bucket down, it'll scoop up all the mushrooms and put them into here. Once I collect the mushrooms, I can go back in, scoop up the water, and be on my way so the mushrooms can continue to grow again. Um, but with that, I also need to do a wheat farm design. But I want to start with the mushroom one, because I feel uh, this one is going to be quite simple comparatively to the wheat farm, because I have to worry about replanting and uh, um, keeping the uh, soil uh, moistened, while also making sure I don't ever walk on it, because if you walk on a uh, tilled soil, then you trample it. So need to keep that in mind. Um, so I'll begin working on the uh, farm here. So here's what it's probably going to look like, by the way. Uh, access way here, so I go all the way up, and then a collection point right here. So presumably it will be water way here, water way here, and it floods all the way into here, and then I'll have like a stair block here or something. But yeah, I'll begin construction on this, and I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so I have laid out some of the actual farm, so, uh, oh, it's almost nighttime. Uh, as you can see here, I laid out one of the water canals so it can begin to get connected to the collection area. Then I begin laying out the actual canals so I can walk up with a water bucket and put that down, and it should... Uh, separate into each of the canals and push its way down there. Um, so that should be all good. Now, yeah, it looks like it's all working out just fine. 
I uh, need to go all the way out back to uh, the house and take a little nap because uh, the sun is going down. I don't want mobs spawning all the way up here. So I need to go all the way over there. But that is currently what I have built at the farm. I need to uh, build that up a little bit more, put the mushrooms in, and also build a access way so I can put the water in. Because as you can see, I desperately am needing food now. Um, so uh, let me just put this down. Apparently this is like very nitpicky about when you can't like, I can't even see the sun. Like, come on, I went to sleep. Um, but yeah, I need to put in all of the proper canals. Uh, well, I already put in the canals, but I need to put in a access way, and I need to, uh, put in all the actual mushrooms while also still, uh, developing out the canals, because as you saw, the water doesn't go all the way out, so I need to, uh, continue to lay that out, so, uh, when you guys see me, in oh, by the way, also, I built a little under area here. Um, and, oh man, there's a lot of wood in between here and there. So, oh uh, yeah, a lot of wood just going into this. Uh, so this tree farm getting put to maximum use. Uh, but either way, um, I will catch you guys here in a minute when I laid out the canals and I'm probably going to be putting a roof on this place. So, catch you guys here in a minute. Okay, so I have finished work on the box, as you can see here, and I'm going to give a little tour of it now, because I believe it is finished. All that needs to be done on it now is that it needs to be nice and loaded with some mushrooms. Hopefully I did the lighting correctly, because apparently the mushrooms will pop off at the incorrect lighting, and I wasn't able to figure out what the correct lighting was, um, sadly, but I believe I got it correct. So if I drop down here, you can see a whole bunch of lights. Uh, and if I come all the way down here, uh, then you'll see a whole bunch of rows. These are where the mushrooms are going to go, and hopefully, uh, let's pull up the red ones. Yes, these are planted. So these will slowly grow. I'll have to put the water down here to collect these mushrooms uh, whenever they're done growing. But I also have a lot more brown ones. They Red ones, I don't have very many of, but the brown ones, I believe I got a whole batch of them from the nether, because uh, apparently they like to grow there. So I am going to plant all of those out here, as you can see. Uh, and whenever they, uh, whenever I think they grow, then I just uh, drop a water bucket down here, and that will happen. I also can drop down here to just look at them if I ever feel like it. I also can jump between the rows. I gave myself enough space to do so. The lighting here shouldn't be too much of a problem for them. They're not popping off yet, so uh, I think everything here is fine. Uh, so if I come around here, there we are. I drop into the stream and I come around here and ta-da! I'm back on the outside, so now I just need to uh, make a proper thing for going all the way up here. It's not just some ladder exposed to the outside. Probably something similar to that. I have to the tree farm, a little water thing. And I also want to do the exterior here, so I need to get some more logs and uh, probably throw up uh, some things here because for the most part, uh, the wood box here is done. I believe that is the uh, whole of what I need for the... Uh, tree farm, just need to give it some stilts, uh, do some polishing, and probably build a little bit of an upper area there. Not too much of one, just enough of one that, uh, it can actually, um, be usable. Uh, so next up, I think I need to begin working on the wheat farm, uh, after obviously getting some more trees, because I spent a lot of wood on that project. A lot, a lot of wood. Um, however... Uh, I feel that's all the work I can get really done for this episode. I spent a long time uh, building up that project. That is, whoo wee, that was a lot of work. But uh, that should begin returning mushrooms, and I can slowly begin cycling those in there to get more mushrooms. And that should be a very efficient farm. I just gotta check up on it every once in a while, make sure it's actually growing. So in like a couple of in-game days, probably gonna check up on the shrooms, make sure they're actually growing. Uh, but other than that, i uh, got to harvest the wood from the tree farm, and then, next episode, I can either get work on the uh, wheat farm, or I can begin working with the mines. So, uh, depending on which I feel like, those are probably going to be what I'm doing next episode. Uh, 
But other than that, guys, I feel that's going to be it for today. So, uh, see ya!